Hey YouTube, this is Pam at Willow's Garden and I'm getting ready to make a homemade cranberry relish for Thanksgiving and uh, what I've got here is one package of cranberries one cup of sugar and one cup of water and you're going to cook these until they start popping then I have one pear that I've washed and sliced up and I'm going to chop it up in little chunks like I did this apple and you need two oranges <coughs> excuse me and um, then we're going to taste test it because you'll I put a little bit of lemon juice in the water so it keeps them from turning brown but uh, and you'll need the zest off of one of the oranges about two tablespoons of uh, orange zest and we're going to use the orange juice from the two lemons I'm going to see how much I get because um, I like the taste of that orange in the background with the cranberries all right, when I get this chopped up and these pop and I get ready to add everything, I'll bring you along. Okay, the cranberries have popped. As you can see, the skins are kind of off of them, most of them. They won't all pop. But what I did, I squeezed my two oranges after I got my zest off of them. And I cut up my, I drained the lemon juice off. And I cut up the, uh, the pear and put in here. And I've got, this is just orange pulp that's, when I squeezed them out, it came out. These are navel oranges, so they don't have any seeds in them. I've got my two tablespoons of orange zest in here. My one pear and my one apple. And we're going to dump this in there and add it to the relish. And this is really a fruity relish, but... I really like it. I mean, I think it tastes wonderful, and the family likes it, so, you know, that's what counts, I guess. So, we're going to let this cook just a little bit. I'm going to taste it to see if it needs a little bit more sugar, and then we're going to pour it in a dish and let it cool, and it's ready for tomorrow. So, I'll bring you back whenever we check it out and see how it tastes. See, it's cooking down. And see the thing about it is some of that liquid's gonna cook out and the fruit has got natural pectin in it which is gonna help it get thick when it uh, cools off so uh, I just got it on low I'm just letting it cook for a little bit till the fruit and everything gets cooked you can see the cranberries are like almost jelly like and that's what you want so I'm gonna let it cook a little bit more okay okay you can see that the fruit is really red now the apples and the pear it's super duper hot you got to be careful when you stir it because it's like hot syrup boiling and it will burn you <laughs> but um, you can see the juice is really thickened up some too and I just cut it off so it will get really thick as it cools it's almost like jelly but I'm going to taste it just to see, uh, let me get a clean spoon. I'm going to taste it and see if it needs any more sugar or not. I'll probably set my mouth on fire. Mmm, nope, that's perfect. I like it sweet, then the orange comes in, and then the tartness. That's, that's the way it should be. It's really, really good. Okay, what I'm going to do is let it cool about five minutes, and then I'm going to pour it into this, let me get my spoon out, I laid it down in there, in this mold here, and when it cools off a little more, I'll put it in the refrigerator, and we'll have it for Thanksgiving, but it's really, really good, it's delicious alongside turkey, the orange gives it such a great flavor, and the pear and the apple, so you ought to give it a try sometime. It's really good. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I hope everybody has a blessed Thanksgiving.